Hi there, I'm back and today I'm just going to do a quick video um, kind of playing around with my Presto Flipside Belgian Waffle Maker. Um, I have some leftover waffle batter from the weekend. Uh, today is Monday by the way. Um, that I made waffles yesterday. I had a little leftover batter so I threw in some um, some chopped up bits of sandwich ham, deli ham. I have some shredded cheddar cheese in here and some snipped chives from my garden outside. So I'm going to do this. Um, there's also a little bit of leftover mashed potatoes in here. So it's going to be um, kind of like a grilled ham and cheese sandwich with a side of fries without all the greasy um, deep frying going on. So I have my, I have my waffle iron all preheated. I have noticed too uh, recently in the beginning when I first bought this waffle iron I had to spray it to keep things from sticking and that really isn't so much the case anymore um, so but because this has this batter has quite a bit of cheese in it I'm going to just do the absolute minimum dead center there we go for some reason it wasn't spraying uh, right, just right in the center, right where I'm going to pour the batter, and then it'll spread from there. It's probably not necessary, but I just don't want to take the chance that that it will stick. So, let's just put some in there. I'm going to make smaller, smaller waffle here. You know, one that's not the size, the entire size of the iron. So we're going to close that, and I'm going to flip it over, and then we'll time it, and time it for, for three minutes. Let's zoom out a little bit, I think I'm too close, there we go. And we'll time it. All right, and when this is about to... When the, when the timer is about to uh, go off that it's finished, we'll be right back. So I'll be right back. Okay, our timer is just about to go off. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, does that ever look good? Look how crispy that looks. Oh, we must have some cheese or something. Now this has potatoes in it so it's a little bit soft. In fact, you know what? I'm going to leave that in for like another minute and we'll be right back. Okay, we're just about, yep, there we are. Okay, I added an additional minute. And sometimes that kind of stuff happens when your batter is a little less than conventional, you know, with the leftover mashed potatoes in here. It tends to be, and stick, as crispy as it is, it's still a little bit soft. So, it's really, really hot. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay. All right, so let's get this out of the way. Let's take a look. This is seriously hot, so I'm going to try really hard not to burn my fingers. Woo! The steam coming out of there. I don't know if you can see that, but that is very hot. <laughs> well, I think, too, the fact that I made a smaller waffle made it a little more difficult to get it out because it's such deep, um, deep pockets in this waffle maker, but... Oops. But look at that. The ham and the cheese. All right, it's really hot. I'm going to risk burning my tongue here so I can taste it. Oh man, is that good. That is so creamy and cheesy. Love that little bit of chive in there. Gives you just this real mild little onion flavor without being overpowering like a like a regular raw onion would be 
And a little bit of ham for some smoky, smoky meatiness. Mmm. That is so good. So, wasn't even planning on doing a video today, but I thought I'm going to make this. Let's shoot it, see how it comes out. It is so delicious. Oh my goodness. I think what's in here is probably like a half a cup of the leftover mashed potatoes. So it's not a lot, but the mashed potatoes have milk and butter and things like that in it. So it does add a little bit more liquid to your mix. But um, I just love experimenting with my waffle iron. It's just, it's just fabulous. Yesterday I had a I had a sweet waffle with with blueberries and almond uh, sliced almonds in it. Um, excuse me, Saturday and then yesterday I made one where I mixed in some ham and cheese. This one has a little bit of chive and the potato in it. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. So I will probably be doing more of these videos, maybe using other things like bread rather than an actual waffle batter and things like that. I do have one. That turned out beautifully that I can't wait to, to do a video on, which is um, eggplant parmesan. So um, tune in for that one um, down the road when I, when I um, pick up an eggplant from our little farmer stand at the corner of the street here. It's just wonderful. So I will um, keep you tuned in to that when I decide to, to put that one up. In the meantime, have a great day. Have some great cheesy and ham waffles. And uh, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye.